We have, I mean, we call it our power pole. Every day students can come in and identify and see how we are generating power and becoming a net zero school. All of our blue, each one represents 10 kilowatts of power that is being generated and our red indicate the amount of power that is being utilized. And it's an, it's an all electric building, so no fossil fuels are burned to operate this building. And then this will be the largest net zero K-12 school in the country. So if you look out the window here, you can see the solar panels. And what's really neat is in math right now, we're working on line graphs. They might be a little dry, but when students get to see the data graphed from our building, that becomes meaningful to them. It becomes something that's really powerful. None of the storm water was captured before. Now all of it is, and then some. And so the dry swale you see is a nice natural separation. So how does the cost of this building compare to the cost of other projects? Generally, the building doesn't cost more to, to do these, these features. So that's pretty remarkable, because then you have all the other savings. We hope with the release of this action plan, we are going to focus more people on the potential of what can be done. And to see a building like this used as a total learning experience is just marvelous. These students are learning, learning more than just what's in the books. They are changing their hearts and minds and thoughts for the future. This is something that our school board and our community are committed to. It is part of our strategic plan. Our school has been so incredible and life-changing, not only for our students, but our community members, who when students come in and tell me, I'm getting a rain barrel at my house because I was inspired by the sustainability mission. To see the inspiring and eloquent teachers who have just embraced this, to see a principal who is so excited every single moment, a superintendent that gives him space, a facilities manager, it does take a village. And it really, you know, hurt me so deeply to see that there are places that um, children don't experience something like this. And this is something that I want to see, you know, everywhere. We also had tremendous commitment from leaders in education, from state superintendents to local superintendents to uh, Randy Weingarten and Becky Pringle, the leaders of the two teachers unions in the country. The sector is ready to move. And, and this report is really about galvanizing action.